good morning. So I took Andrew Davis's uh, referable speaker sales process and try to evolve it into a sales cycle. So we can see how we can rinse and repeat this uh, over time to build a referable speaker career. Now, what I loved about Andrew Davis's process is its simplicity. It is so clear, so tangible, so specific, the four steps in his process. Lead, date on hold, client team call, and speaker agreement sent. You can very clearly know where you are in the process and what you need to do, what is the next step you need to do to move forward in the process. There's a tangible yes or no you can answer at each stage in the process. Now, to make this uh, process a cycle, the way I thought of it was that the fourth step should logically culminate in with, when we success, uh, successfully close the sale, it should culminate in a speaking event. So that's what I've had in the circle right at the end of that middle row. And those are sort of the, the final step where we deliver that transformational experience. But what should happen at the end of the speaking event is that we generate referrals, stage side leads, warm leads, cool leads over time. And the referrals, uh, which I've marked at the top of the image with an arrow goes back all the way to a lead generating the next sales cycle. So a sales process. So that's how um, we build our referrals uh, career speaking career by doing this cycle again and again over time, increasing the velocity and volume um, and value of the sales cycle. So the velocity, volume and value of the sales cycle. Now at the beginning of uh, our career as a speaker, we're likely not to have um, any or many referrals and therefore you go to the bottom of the image and that's where um, as um, Michael Port uh, taught us in the uh, speaking, getting the first gigs uh, Zoom webinar, where we need to use our existing networks. We need to approach, have an approach list of 20. We need to use LinkedIn to connect with people to start, to jumpstart our speaking uh, career. So those are sort of the two big sources for uh, opportunities, for leads, uh, referrals and uh, approaches. And over time, it's expected that maybe 80% of our work comes through uh, referrals. Now, I guess the third point I would add, uh, so the first point was there are four steps in the process to rinse and repeat the cycle. We want to use the speaking event as a source of referrals. And the final point I wanted to add is certain tools and documents Michael and Andrew mentioned would be very helpful in this process. Uh, the first one was the landing page. Uh, Sienna walked us through how to craft an amazing landing page at HPS Grad. Uh, the second tool Andrew referred to was having a tracker for leads and opportunities so you know very clearly where you're working, what stage you're working on. But you can also track some metrics like uh, duration for, uh, for the sales cycle, uh, pro average price uh, that you've gotten over a period of time. And the final uh, third type of tool or document you want to have is client documents, so speaker agreements, session descriptions, and a discussion document. So those are the three sort of big uh, takeaways I had from this process, very, uh, uh, not process, but takeaways I had from converting a sales uh, process into a sales cycle. Hopefully that's useful to you and uh, let me know what uh, feedback you have, what edits, what revisions, what have you noticed in your experience that would help add uh, or uh, add to this. Thank you. Take care.